Hello, in this video, I want to continue the conversation that we've been having about settler colonialism and space privatization. I definitely think that space is a resolution where settler colonialism is incredibly important, and I've been talking about that the entire series. The reasons why I think that its critique of the public and private is so good, why I think that it allows for really good critiques of just like the desire to find new space to colonize, and just like the settlers kind of like drive to create like new resourcification, new places of like being able to extract um, various types of like land, the life, etc. And I think that it's really important to kind of consider all of the angles that this can be used as. And so in this video, to kind of like continue the series, I want to start talking about settler colonialism on the affirmative. If this is your first video tuning in, then this is like a good place to definitely come into the series. But I would definitely say that it would be smart to kind of look at the first video that I did, breaking down just like what the intro to settler colonialism and space privatization is, because it kind of sets out what I think is the foundation for the whole series. And so I think it's really important to kind of just catch on to um, so that you can kind of understand where I'm kind of coming into the conversation and like what types of arguments are particularly present because like obviously it's like impossible for me to probably touch on like every single argument that could be made from the lens of settler colonialism but I want to be able to give you a vantage point of the way that it kind of looks from all sides of the debate and in this particular like two-part video series that I'll do for this extended series I just want to talk about the way in which the affirmative like position can be done like what types of priorities and like ideal ways you would want to make this affirmative what are the types of questions that it can really bring to like ask about and like the what ways can it kind of relate to concerns that can be brought up on the case debate the framework debate critical debating and counterplan and dissent debating all of which I think are really relevant to just like, you know, having a really solid app in the first place. And so I definitely want to answer them here. Um, but the first place that I really want to start is just thinking about like, what are like the priorities for writing this affirmative? What is kind of the ideal affirmative? I definitely think that if you kind of want to continue like a place where just having your methodology between like your affirmative and negative is like really consistent, then I think there are a lot of arguments to be made about like why questions of just like refusing the call to space and et cetera are really important for like getting rid of space privatization. I think that like the way that the resolution is is kind of like written is that um, is that it doesn't really require you to like have to win that there is kind of like this like uh necessary need in order to create uh like another way of using space because like the resolution is written to say like the appropriation of outer space by private entities is unjust and so i think that at a lot of bases that there are definitely just like refusal affirmatives that are like by the nature of the resolution topical because they would stop like the way in which uh, privatized space operations are happening and i definitely think that's an option because it will allow you to really just focus on a lot of overwhelming critiques about like why no one should get access to space and i think that that allows you to have like really strong impact turn debate debating against like pretty much every argument and so it's kind of like very like similar down the, um, it's very kind of like down the line um kind of simple line of like what type of argument you want to make and where your focus should be um and i think in another place that you could really explore the possibilities of what this uh resolution looks like in the context of settler colonialism is definitely to think about ideas of like indigenous futurity i think that there are a lot of really interesting ways in which people have like taken like things like for instance like the turtle island arguments of, about like a uh, u.s and agency and like questions of just like other sources of how we're able to build relationships to like just land etc in the context of like indigenous life and related to the question of like outer space and like its relationship to the earth i think that there are a lot of ways in which indigenous futurity can refuse the ways in which like settler um futurity is able to operate because of the way in which it theorizes the active role of like the land and all of the organic kind of like sources around it as kind of like active agents that kind of like change the way in which we're able to relate to the question of like the earth that we're kind of like uh, in like born in and so i think that there are a lot of really interesting ways in which you can create um, arguments about like how like Turtle Island, the concepts of Turtle Island and other types of agents, agents as well, um, I think are really impact and create the idea of indigenous futurism. I don't think that like indigenous futurism is innately tied to Turtle Island as an actor, but I think that's a really interesting one. I think that there are definitely other ways in which various other um, um, types of like cultural um, narratives or usages of particular types of like movements and arguments about like how indigenous folk have kind of retooled technology and science could all be really interesting ways to relate to the question of space and really have like a refutation of not only space at the, at, of the privatization of space at a material level but also the cultural way in which like privatized space and just the space debate in general has represented the like ascension of like a cis patriarchal way of understanding like white manhood and like other kind of like consequences of just like colonization uh, etc and the way in which it creates like a, a way of destroying like how we're able to think about like indigenous life outside of the confines of colonialism and so I think that it's like really important to kind of like maybe delve into the ways in which 
60s ways of framing the resolution allow for a generative capacity for rethinking like what types of agents are allowed into space and like the ways in which like space maybe not be used for like the good of all humanity but maybe it can be used as a redistributive power for the ways in which we have like destroyed or like hacked at our ability to use like earth as we kind of like know it now i then think that when you kind of like move into like what this means in terms of a lot of the case arguments that you see a lot of the case arguments that people are reading against things like indigenous futurism are just going to be i think mostly about the question of like the pragmatics of it making arguments that kind of detangle the idea of future be of like futurism being able to transition itself into praxis and making arguments about like there is no way to space without like technical legal demands and like the creation of a particular way of thinking about um the law that opens up the room for like agents that maybe aren't like privatized in the context of like elon musk but are kind of like privatized in the context of like not the usfg and not a proper political institution to be able to get access to space in order to create it as something that is more like redistributive uh, or, or as a future that kind of like opens up our own kind of questioning of the way in which we relate to like humanness as a process and i think that all of those things can kind of be answered by the question of how you're able to like just be in examples of like the way in which like narrative storytelling and other forms of por performance and aesthetic have been used in various indigenous cultures in order to create like planning for diff different tactics and organizing across various lines all of which i think are really important for creating like just a well thought out like affirmative as a whole and i think when you start transitioning into framework and t it's not really a question of like how you meet the resolution but like whether or not for instance in the context of your futurism stuff is that extra topical and like why is that type of like particular reinstantiation or, or or shift in our relationship to space necessary um in a world where you can just like refuse privatization on its own why i think on the other end a lot of other teams will go for arguments about like why the refusal of the affirmative on its own isn't enough to really remedy the questions about like how like we are able to un um, allow or outlaw certain like populations or certain entities from being able to go into space and not doing so on like clear and concise terms can make it hard to understand the difference between privatized space and like the ability for space to be used as a way to like represent or give kind of like means of like um reparations like those that are kind of like uh most impacted by the way in which the, the, the earth that we live on is kind of like being sabotaged and i think that this make a lot of arguments about like how the affirmative is able to resolve some of those questions can be really helpful in terms of like really sculpting up the framework and t debate but i think on the end of things if you're not really going for a futurism argument if you're really just going for like refusal decolonization etc then a lot of it i feel like is just impact turning the value of needing to like create and fulfill that inevitable desire to go out to space and why that continued refusal of that desire is necessary as a reconsideration of how we relate to the question of the human and the way that we kind of like devalue like colonialism and our processes of like life and death which i think are all like super important um hopefully this video is helpful for you and hopefully you'll tune into more stuff that i'll be doing with colonialism and space colonization and yeah thank you as always